Hi everyone, my name is Guy and I will be giving you a 10 minutes demo of C-Test. Uh, so uh, first of all I'm starting by uh, adding the, the devices. Th this is the C-Test, I'm starting here from scratch and uh, uh, I will build uh, uh, our test uh, as we go. Uh, so first thing I will do, I will uh, add uh, two devices, I have uh, two real devices, one is, is an HTC Desire, an Android device and uh, the second device is an iPhone device uh, and both uh, connected uh, via USB to, to my station. Uh, in general they can be also be connected uh, via Wi-Fi and uh, uh, via a uh, cloud. So um, first of all um, let me open the device. Uh, uh, once the device is open I can see the device screen on my station. This means that this station can be a remote station. I don't have to sit near the station. I can control it uh, uh, using remote desktop and uh, other uh, remoting uh, technology. And uh, as you can see I can fully control the device. Everything that uh, can be done on the device uh, I can do from uh, this screen. So uh, this device is fully controllable from uh, uh, from this uh, station. So next uh, what, what I'm going to do is start a recording and uh, uh, perform the, the set of uh, operation uh, I would like to do. So this is a native application and uh, uh, what uh, I will do here uh, is I will just uh, uh, record my test as I will do if uh, you know for manual testing I'm just uh, um, performing the test uh, on the uh, uh, on the device itself. Uh, here I, I will probably would like to add some verification point so let's say that I would like to verify that this image exists and that the text here exists uh, as well and now let me just uh, navigate back to, to the home screen. So uh, this is a really a basic uh, flow. I can stop the recording now, and in here you can see all this. Uh, you can see the, the test that we have just recorded, and uh, on the left we can see the object repository that uh, was recorded uh, as part of this test. So wh what I'm going to do next is just play this test, just to show you uh, how uh, it is being executed. So as you can see, uh, we are able to execute it uh, on the real device due to the verification points as we, re we record them and uh, we are back to in the home screen. Once the record ends, I can see a report that shows uh, everything uh, I did here. So every uh, element I've identified or click on can be seen here and uh, um, so th this is uh, one of the, the reports uh, that uh, CTES provide. So <coughs> what, what I'm going to do next is, is add some improvements and um, uh, uh, and use the QTP to run uh, the test. So first of all let, let me add some improvement to this test. So first of all I will set the elements here to be meaningful names. Um, Okay, this will be movie icon, and this will be um, movie time. Now, <coughs> for each element, I can go and edit the way this element is being identified. So uh, you can see that we support four methods of uh, identifying elements. So we we uh, we use image recognition, and we use text recognition. So for example, if I want to identify this element by text, I can just uh, uh, refresh it, and you can see that it was it was learning the the text here. And we also support native and web. A object identification. So uh, it's not just a, a image recognition or text recognition as it in most of the solution today, but it's, it is also a, a native a, a object a identification as you will do in uh, any QTP uh, application. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, here I will do the same. I will just uh, uh, edit the, the element first. So I can just uh, select it better 
and do the refresh and I'm getting the, the right text here you can see that the uh, I can change the the boundaries of the image I want to verify so this is uh, uh, this is the change I've just made and um, uh, let, let's go to, to the QTP and see how we can run this test this, this test from uh, within QTP um, okay so I've just created a new test inside QTP and, and I'm going here to the C test you can see that there is a code section here with a huge variety of so um, le let me select a QTP uh, copy the uh, it and paste it uh, inside a QTP and let me just uh, uh, play the test so um, as you can see now the, the, the QTP is controlling the device and everything is done from within the QTP. We, we are now doing the verification. And now uh, uh, the, the execution ends and we can see the report. We can see all the, all, uh, everything inside as part of the Q QTP report and, the, and uh, every step is uh, described here and we can see visually what we have identified and uh, click on. Um, okay, so uh, we are just a few minutes into this meeting and we already have a, a test run inside QTP and uh, now what, what I want to show you is how I can go and run the, same, the exact same test both for QTP and for uh, both uh, for Android and for uh, iPhone. So uh, le let me just uh, uh, open uh, the iPhone device here. So th this is uh, this is the the iOS device. which supports all uh, <coughs> the devices uh, from the from Apple. So what what I'm going to do now uh, is just uh, extract the elements that are relevant to the iOS and add them to the original elements. Uh, so th this is a, a one change uh, we we have made here. Let me uh, do the same here to the search element as they are look uh, as they look different and also uh, I will do the same change here for the uh, movie icon and just add it uh, to the to the existing uh. okay so now a uh, we have our repository ready and uh, what I'm going to do next is go to the QTP and um, set the, uh, the device name to be a parameter for my script. So let's call it device name and let's change it to data table value device name. Okay, so if I will run it now, it will be run once on the Android device. But what I will do is I uh, uh, will add a, an, an additional uh, iteration that will run um, on the uh, iOS device. So now uh, the test will run twice, one for the Android device and in the second iteration for the Android device. Let's uh, see how uh, we can uh, just uh, run it and we are starting from the Android. QTP execute the test on the Android device. So you can see that we can simultaneously con control more than one device. In this case we, we are working both on the Android device and on the iOS device. Okay, and the exact same iteration is now running um, <coughs> on the uh, on on the iOS uh, uh, device. Th this is uh, really really important because uh, 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 it's enabled me to to have one script that run on multiple devices, and you can see that it is very easy to build and run. So uh, uh, this is how the report look like for the iOS and uh, uh, this is how it looks like for, for the Android. 
So um, th this is uh, this is how the the reports look like. Um, that that is all for now. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I hope this uh, session uh, was uh, help helpful. Um, this is really uh, exciting. In just less than ten minutes, we we are able to write a test that work both for Android and for iPhone, running from a, a QTP a control both a elements by text, native and native IDs and and uh, image recognition so we have it all in in one product so uh, thank you very much for your uh, listening and for your time